Hello, my name is Eric, and I come from Mufford Fiber Technology Company. Today, I want to introduce our new smart OTDR. The model number is uh, S90XT. XT, EXT means extension. This um, this demo unit is our hot cell hot cell unit. Okay, now let's turn on the OTDR. Um, during the turn on, let me show you the um, the connectors. The first one is the VFL, the second one is the OTDR and the lighter source. OTDR and the lighter source share the same port. And the right one is the optical power meter. Okay, here. And this is uh this this port is uh, for power charging, and this is a, a SD memory card. It is a eight G, eight G memory card, USB port, RJ forty five port, and uh, mini USB port. Okay, as you can see, all the functions have have been listed here. Um, you can see our data sheet to select the right model because the different model with different uh, configurations here. Anyway, I want to say this this one, this one, D24 is our most sales, is our hot sales ODDR. And this one, D20, D20SF um, supports um, live fiber testing because it is with uh, um, a filter. Okay. Now let's focus on the demo unit. The first one is ODDR, and uh, as you can see, we uh, I have already prepared four fiber rails. The first one is uh, one kilometers. The second one is uh, two kilometers. Third one is uh, one kilometers, and the last one is uh, forty kilometers. And I have linked them together with a uh, adapter with the four um, with the three adapters. Okay, now let's plug the FC connector to the FC ports on the OTDR. Okay, when you plug it into um, OTDR port, please pay attention. Pay more attention on the keys on the FC connector. Sometimes you may need to use uh, IC connector. Um, it is very easily. It is very easily for for users to switch to change um, by themselves. Okay. As you can see here, the filter one is ODDR function. You can use this uh, physical button to control the OTDR control the device, but you also can use the quick button to um, control the, um, the device. Okay. Now, um, I just want to say it is very, very easily to uh, operate the OTDR. So I just want to use the auto test, just press Press one time and get the results. Okay. Uh, as you can see, we already get the results, the ODDR curves on the screen, just less than three seconds. Um, you can press this button to see the ODDR curves in full screen and uh, press this button to see all the event list. And sometimes we may want to see more details, like here, the first three events. So we need to the cursor A and cursor B to support. Okay, here is the um, cursor B and uh, pr move the cursor E, okay. 
Okay, now I want to enlarge the curves between A and B. So I press this button and press this physical button. Okay, we can use your finger to drag the curves to its right position. Okay, we um we can use this method to get more and more details. Okay, we want to enlarge here again. Press this button. Okay, sorry. Press this button. Okay, to see more details. And we also can drag the curves very, very easily. Okay, one more thing to say. Here, we can tick the two wavelengths together so we, we can get the result by just a click one time. And uh, press this button to save, to save the test result. You also um, setting it to, to auto save. Here I I give give it a name. First fiber. Dot C A. If we um input the wrong words, we can press this button to delete and press again. Okay, confirm. It has been saved. Also, this ODDR support print a screen also known as uh, screen shooting. Okay. The, 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 the screen has been saved on the storage. Um, that is to say, has been saved in the SD, S, SC, uh, SD memory card. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, for some new user, new ODDR user, they may like the event map. Of course, this one is also support the event map. Um, and also very easy, press, test, and uh, waiting, then get the result. Actually, you can set the um, acquisition time to 5 seconds, but I have made it to 10 seconds. But uh, as you can see, the screen fresh is very, very quickly. Screen fresh is very quickly. Okay, we, get, we got a result and it's map. You can see here, mentioned fail. You can press this button. Go to here to set the pass or fail threshold. Um, if you're a new user, just keep them in default. Of course, you also can change to your ch change it change them by yourself. Okay, here is the ODDR. The second optical power meter. The optical power meter is about six wavelengths. You can press this button to switch. Of course, it is also about a reference and the zero function. Just like you bought an optical power meter in the market. This is VFL. VFL is for checking fault on a cable. Let, let me turn on. You can see. You can you can see my hands and the flash. Okay, great. This one is the ladder source. It's about a two wavelengths. 13 nanometer and 15 50 nanometers. Of course it also is about the frequency switch. Frequency switch, lambda switch, frequency switch. Okay. 
Um, this is for checking the cable sequence. Check and um, check the RJ forty five cable sequence. Uh, as I mentioned here, uh, we have a uh, RJ forty five ports. When we make the test, we need to use the remote unit. Okay, my cable is very very short, but uh, um, the device can work for at least three hundred meters RJ forty five cable. Okay, when we start, we can see the um, cable cores are linked at uh, the same time and uh, flashed. Of course, uh, it also support uh, different about two different uh, cable sequence. Okay, here is the fiber inspection inspection. Sometimes um we call it a microscope. You have to buy a mic microscope separately and uh, plug to the USB port. We have uh, opened the function. You just need to buy a microscope. Um, event map just mentioned. Uh, loss testing. This function is a combination of uh, opti of light source and optical power meter. That is to say, optical power meter, uh, optical power meter. Optical power parameter and the lighter source function are turned on same time, so it is very easily very easily to test a cable's attenuation from two ends. Okay, here is the setting. The the device supports many languages. Users can switch them very easily. First one is English. Um, Spanish, uh, Spanish, uh, Russia, French, Korea, Italy. Um, we will add more, but now have been listed here. I only know English, so I switch to switch back to English. And here is the uh, upgrades. If we have some new firmware. We can send we 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 will send you and you just copy to your USB disk and plug to the USB, and then press this button to up upgrade. Okay, the last one is the um, the storage card. Here, this is the OLEDR curve we just saved. And here is the screen print. You can load it. We pressed we pressed it just now. If you copy to your computer, you 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 can um, see it clearly. And uh, mm, as you here. Here I mentioned just now the SOR files. You you need to copy, copy it to your computer. Use a USB cable, or use a USB disk, and then open it or print it, um, to a test report on your PC software. The PC software will be download. From our website. Okay, this is the smart ODDR. Do you like it? Thank you. Bye bye.